So we give thanks to God in this, uh, this is the first, uh, first Friday of, of, of Advent. So we ask the Holy Spirit to lead us in this evening. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh God, oh God, come to our aid. Oh Lord, Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs> Sound has gone off, George. I think George's mic is uh, off. Yes. He can't hear us. No. All right, we can pray with the words. Not looking. George, we can't hear you. He's saying something, I think. How do we get across to him? I don't know. I'm trying to get his attention back. <laughs> Send a message or something, Ramona. 
we can hear. Ah, okay. We can hear Ramona now. Uh, uh, Deacon Scott, he's off no, no. now. I, I did. I did send a message to George oh, okay. privately. Yes, so he should see that now. Yeah. 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 yeah he's got yeah. it off now. Okay. Sorry for that. That's okay. Yes, we just continue. The music had stopped also. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Come on, up you get. Up. Shh. Lord, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I be the man who considers the poor and the weak. The Lord will save him in the day of evil. He will guard him, give him life, make him happy in the land and will not give him up to the will of his foes. The Lord will help him on his bed of pain. He will bring him back from sickness to health. As for me, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My foes are speaking evil against me. How long before he dies and his name is forgotten? They come to visit me and speak empty words. Their hearts full of malice, they spread it abroad. My enemies whisper together against me. They all weigh up the evil which is on me. Some deadly thing has fastened upon him. He will not rise again from where he lies. Thus even my friend in whom I trusted who ate my bread, has turned against me. But you, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let me rise once more, and I will repay them. By this I shall know that you are my friend, if my foes do not shout in triumph over me. If you uphold me, I shall be unharmed and set in your presence forevermore. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from age to age. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the shall be world without end. Amen. Lord, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea, even though its waters rage and foam, even though the mountains be shaken by its waves. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. Nations are in tumult, kingdoms are shaken. He lifts his voice, the earth shrinks away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. He puts an end to wars over all the earth. The bow he breaks, the spear he snaps. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. Apologies. Be still and know that I am God, supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. All the peoples will come and adore you, O Lord. Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the ages. Who shall not fear and glorify your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship you, for your judgments have been revealed. Glory be to the Father and and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All the peoples will come and adore you, Lord. A reading uh, that with the Lord, a day can mean a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day. The Lord is not being slow to carry out his promises, as anybody else might be called slow. But he is being patient with you all, wanting nobody to be lost and everybody to be brought to change his ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 Come to us and save us, Lord God Almighty. Come to us and save us, Lord God Almighty. Let your face smile on us and we shall be saved. Come to us and save us, Lord God Almighty. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Come to us and save us, Lord God Almighty. Out of Egypt I have called my son. He will come and save his people. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving and sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the, Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Out of Amen. Egypt I have called my son. He will come and save his people. If we prepare to celebrate the birth of Christ, we, oh, sorry, this should be um, Carmel, I think. Oh. As we prepare to celebrate the birth of Christ, we pray that the church may come to birth again in our times. Be born in us, Lord. Lord Jesus, born of Mary, come again into our world. Be born in us, Lord. Help us to show compassion and respect for the mentally ill since we are all children of God. Be born in us, Lord. Through the church proclamation of your coming, bring light to those who search for truth. Be born in us, Lord. You were born to die for our sins. At our death, may we be born into your life. Be born in us, Lord. Heavenly Father, we pray for the needs of our parish. We pray especially for all those who are sick or suffering loss and, and, um, uh, and troubles in any way. We ask, Lord, that you will support them at this time. Pray also for Joseph, and we thank you for his um, example and and his help in the parish and we pray lord 
that you will guide and, and protect him and as he enters into this new phase of being a deacon. Pray for our, our, our parish priest and for all those who ha have suffered in various ways. I ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be born in us, Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Amen. Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Father, who art <coughs> thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Call forth your power, Lord. Come and save us from the judgment that threaten us by the reason of our sins. Come and set us free. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord, bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Okay, I will, uh, I'm going now to the, the, the second slide. So I'm going to bring the other slide. Oh, sorry. Uh, share the screen window. Okay, so. So we listen to the gospel, and this is the gospel of this coming Sunday, second Sunday in Advent. Our brother Nibble will read it for us. The, the screen is missing. Huh? The screen is not there? No. <clears throat> OK. We have it. We can see it now. I, I don't have it. Oh, you don't have it? No. Um, uh, what has happened here? Uh, the screen, mine shows uh, Zoom 5.4. Uh, update. Gosh. Hello. Chrissy, I'll bring you back in the Zoom meeting. Okay, let me see with another. Huh? Can you see it? No. Okay. It has gone to post attendee Zoom. Yeah, but, it, but it's all right. Can you see it? Then? No. No. Can anyone see it or no? Yes, we can. We can. Okay. So something is not right here. Well, let me stop and then share it again. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, we can see yes. and hear you. Uh, I can't see or hear. I can hear you all, but I can't see anything. That's strange. Maybe uh, get get out of it and get back in, Neville. Uh, so I let it sign on again. Oh, what? What do? How do I? What do I do now? So just leave the meeting, click on, if you just hover the mouse, you'll find leave at the bottom. And then rejoin again. And then rejoin, yes. Can you see a little red tab, leave? No, uh, the screen doesn't have anything. Connect to oh. this. <coughs> hmm. No, yeah. OK. Uh, I think maybe technical problem with your your device. My, mine is a desktop, so yeah. Uh, yeah. maybe you you lost okay. the uh, maybe you lost connectivity. Yes, something happened. Mm. Launch Zoom meeting. Launch. Yes, meeting. yes. Okay, okay, click. I launch again. Uh, you're already in another meeting. Do you want to leave and join this meeting? Yes, to yes. say yes to that, and then you should be able to get back in. Does 
Okay. I think while uh, while we're waiting for Nibble, we need somebody to volunteer, maybe read it for us. This maybe Sister Florence, you can read it for us. It's a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The beginning of the good news about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It is written in the book of the prophet Isaiah. Look, I'm going to send my messenger before you. He will prepare your way. A voice cries in the wilderness, prepare a way for the Lord, make his path straight. And so it was that John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Okay, it's coming now. Yep, I've got it now. Oh, oh, yeah, we, okay. So you maybe we'll, we'll take, you take the next reading. So we, we, we started with sister. So sister was reading, we said we, um, yeah, yeah, you the, will take the next reading. So yeah, maybe the, let, yeah, let, uh, let sister continue. So sorry, sister. But I may not be having the right page. The beginning of the good news about Jesus Christ, is that the page? Yes, 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 yes. this yes. is, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. That's the page. Yeah. So sorry, sister, you want to read it again and then you will read the next page. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll begin. Um, so the beginning of the good news about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It's written in the book of the prophet Isaiah. Look, I'm going to send my messenger before you. He will prepare your way. A voice cries in the wilderness, prepare a way for the Lord, make his path straight. <coughs> and so it was that John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. All Judea and all the people of Jerusalem made their way to him. And as they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, they confessed their sins. John wore a garment of camel skin, and he lived on locusts and wild honey. In the course of his preaching, he said, Someone is following me someone who is more powerful than I am. I'm not fit to kneel down and undo the strap of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. I love the Lord. So sorry, Nibble, for the technical problem. Uh, I'll ask now if you can maybe read uh, this uh, this reflection from uh, one of the doctors, and uh, yeah, maybe, and then we can we can have a time together to reflect on the gospel and also this reflection. You're welcome. Okay, comfort, give comfort to my people, says the Lord. In the first reading. The prophet reports this command in the sorrows of life, who does not long for comfort, yet what is comfort? When we want it, sometimes what we want is just what the good shepherd gives his lost sheep. We want God to carry us. But a child that is carried all the time will never learn to walk or leap and run. That child, weak enough already to be carried, will get only weaker as the carrying goes on. And comfort isn't a matter of giving weakness. It is a matter of giving strength, strength for walking, even over very rough roads. In fact, the fort is comfort comes from the Latin word for strong. The calm in comfort is from the Latin word for with. To give comfort to someone is to lend him some of your strength. He is more able to stand on his own feet and walk because you are with him. But what 
is the comfort of God. Where is it? How do we find it? The gospel says that Christ baptizes his own with the Holy Spirit. Because of this baptism, the Holy Spirit comes to dwell. Uh, what happened? Sorry. Um, uh, because of this baptism, the Holy Spirit comes to dwell within each person who comes to Christ. And so anyone who comes to Christ and receives his baptism will not walk the wild and rocky road of life alone. God is so much with him that in the person of the Holy Spirit, God is within him. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, as we always do, we, we spend a uh, we spend time to reflect on the gospel and also a reflection, this reflection. And then from there, we will have a time to share our experiences of uh, what is this gospel for me, especially this Sunday, the second Sunday of Advent. So we spend time a little bit, maybe two minutes, and then we will share our experiences. So it's now time we can share our experiences. Uh, uh, we can share what is this gospel for me and for us, especially as we we journey in this time of Advent, a time of preparation. And I think this is what uh, that is, is good that this gospel connect us also with the good news, you know, from the prophet Isaiah. So you most welcome. Are coming, George. Yeah, you're welcome. So obviously, this is where um, there's reference to John the Baptist, who was uh, the person who came before Christ, and he was entrusted with the task of preparing the way, so that we would be ready to receive Christ when He appeared in the world. Um, my take of this gospel reading is that um, we have to cleanse ourselves, we have to prepare, we have to be ready to receive God. And, um, and to do that, first of all, it is important that we are baptized in Christ. Um, as John said, he baptized with water, but Christ, or he said, the one who comes after me will be baptizing you with the Holy Spirit. So in order for us to be, to have the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives, we have to be baptized. We have to become one with Christ. And if the Holy Spirit is amongst us, is within us, then we will always be directed 
inspired and led by the Holy Spirit. And I think that's what, what it screams to me that we have to always ask for an, an anointing and outpouring and infilling of the Holy Spirit every single day in our lives. Because to be with Christ is to have the Holy Spirit with us. I'd just like to share a little bit. Um, I was struck in that uh, commentary on about the comfort and um, in the reading from that Dr. Eleanor film <coughs> and that the comfort, the comfort of God is, as Ramona says, is the spirit within us, but that the comfort means um, to lend someone some of our strength and what we're preparing for in a, in a new way i guess is, is what we already live that um jesus comes anew give us his strength so that we can um continue our journey, our journey wherever we're called to walk so it just gives a whole new meaning to that word comfort for people from Isaiah. Thank you. <coughs> also in the comfort, like the child is weak mm -hmm. and um, it and it um, or ready to be carried will get only weaker. So to me, it means if you don't have the spirit in you and practice, practice um, oh, to get the, to get more spirit in you, like um, going to reconciliation and that, you will you will all. You, Always be weak and will never walk by yourself. Uh, walk by yourself. I think that's how I can explain it. I'm a shocking explainer. Mm. I I never been to Israel, but uh, maybe you know if I if I if I connect this with the village where I was born, we prepare roads. It always you know require a cooperation from village to village. Uh, you know our roads during that uh, the rainy season always stopped, but. When the, when the dry season comes, people from village to village, you know, will come, they will clear the road, they will prepare themselves. And there are sacrifices in, in preparing the roads in order for us to, for goods to come into our, to the villages. And I think this is also like, uh, you know, she gave a very good example here about the child, that sometimes we, we help child to walk, and it, you know, for a child to grow up also, you need 
a cooperation from others, parents, uncles, aunties. It is also like us in our faith. We, in our journey, we also need people that sometimes encourage us when we, when we feel like this is the end of it, people who will come and give us words, even a nice word can give us another chance of standing up again and you know moving forward and it's good that uh, our sister Kamal just mentioned that uh, this is time of also a preparation one of the preparation is all to prepare a road for Jesus for us to welcome Jesus is also through the sacrament of reconciliation and as a parish community the 22nd of this month is the time for us where we will celebrate the reconciliation Yes, we are human beings and we are like a child sometimes, we fall down, but Jesus has given us this strength that, you know, that yes, even though we went through this, I will give you another chance, a chance to move on. So we give thanks to God that this is a wonderful call to prepare a way for Jesus and uh, it is all our responsibility that we prepare this way. Uh, thank you very much. I think it looked like uh, it's a very tough reading today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> very, tough, very tough reading today. Variations, yeah. yeah. This, this book is so good, George. A very good book. Mm. Yes. Very, very, very good book. And uh, I, still, I still have copies. Jenny, uh, Jess and Jenny, if you want to come, you can, can come and pick up a copy. So we now, we, we conclude our evening prayer with this beautiful prayer from a reflection from this uh, Dr. Eleonore. So sister will pray this prayer for us and we'll uh, then see. God, we know that if you are for us, even within us, who can be against us? This strength indeed. Thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Amen. 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 And may Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So thank you very, very much.